Ever brushed your teeth until your arms felt like jelly, only to find that unpleasant odor lingering? You might be surprised to learn the culprit isn't the delicious burger you devoured for lunch. These culprits are called tonsil stones or tonsilliths for the fancy folks, and they form when food particles, dead cells, and even bits of mucus get trapped in the crevices of your tonsils, called crypts. Think of them like tiny caves collecting treasure, not the gold kind, more like the you, what is that, kind. Over time, these trapped bits harden with calcium, forming the infamous tonsil stones. These little stink bombs can be as small as a grain of rice or as large as a pea, and usually come in white or yellowish shades. They can also be quite the party crashers, causing discomfort, especially when you swallow. The formations release an unpleasant odor when disturbed. This odor is often due to the bacteria and debris trapped within them, which can produce sulfur compounds, leading to that notorious bad breath. There are two main types, caseous stones. These are larger, have a cottage cheese-like consistency, and often have the most unpleasant odor. Superficial stones. These are smaller and typically cause less discomfort. But why do tonsil stones smell so bad? The culprit lies in the science of bad breath, also known as halitosis. There are two main types of halitosis. Oral halitosis. This is the most common type, originating from the mouth itself. Extraoral halitosis. This type of bad breath arises from conditions outside the mouth, such as sinus infections or stomach issues. In the case of tonsil stones, the bad odor comes from the breakdown of trapped debris by bacteria in the mouth. These bacteria are like tiny stinky factories, producing volatile sulfur compounds, VSCs, those smelly gases responsible for the unpleasant tonsil stone stench. Think of them as the exhaust fumes from the bacteria's waste disposal process. Let's talk about some foods that can turn your breath into a bit of a biohazard. Garlic and onions are notorious stink bombs, but they're not the only culprits. Cruciferous vegetables like broccoli and cauliflower can also contribute to VSC production. And for some people, certain cheeses can be like a stinky party in their mouth. So, what causes these little stink bombs to form? Several factors can contribute to tonsil stones, including chronic tonsillitis. Frequent inflammation of the tonsils can increase the risk of debris getting trapped in the crypts. Enlarged tonsils. Larger tonsils have deeper crypts, providing more nooks and crannies for debris to accumulate. Dehydration. Dryness in the mouth can make mucus thicker and stickier, increasing the chances of it getting lodged in the tonsils. Poor oral hygiene. Plaque buildup on the tongue and teeth can contribute to bad breath bacteria, which can also worsen tonsil stones. Certain medications. Some medications can cause dry mouth, which can indirectly contribute to tonsil stones. The good news is that tonsil stones are common and usually harmless. They might be uncomfortable and annoying, but they rarely cause serious health issues. However, understanding them can help you manage and prevent them more effectively. The even better news? There are simple, natural ways to prevent and combat them, restoring your confidence and giving you fresh breath. From gargling with salt water to using a water flosser, there are various methods to keep these stones at bay. Keep watching to uncover the secrets to banishing tonsil stones and saying goodbye to bad breath worries. You'll learn about dietary changes, proper oral hygiene techniques, and even some surprising home remedies that can make a big difference. Speaking of keeping things clean, did you know even the ancient Egyptians struggled with bad breath? Archaeological evidence suggests they used a primitive form of toothpaste made from crushed mint and salt. While they may not have known about tonsil stones, it's a fun fact to ponder. Bad breath has plagued humanity for millennia. Back to our modern methods. Probiotics are another powerful ally. Supplementing with probiotics or incorporating probiotic-rich foods like kefir and kimchi can help balance the good and bad bacteria in your mouth, making it a less hospitable environment for tonsil stones. But that's not all. We have a few more weapons in our anti-tonsil stone arsenal, soothing saltwater gargle. This simple yet effective remedy involves gargling with warm salt water several times a day. It can help loosen tonsil stones and soothe any irritation in your throat. Gentle irrigation with a water floss. Ever heard of a water floss? This nifty tool can be your friend in the fight against tonsil stones. Using it on a low setting can help dislodge the stones and remove food debris from those hard to reach crevices in your tonsils. Anti-inflammatory powerhouses. Chronic inflammation can contribute to tonsil stone formation. Consider incorporating anti-inflammatory herbs like ginger and turmeric into your diet. 
these natural remedies can be a helpful addition to your tonsil stone defense plan. Speaking of surprising connections, did you know astronauts are more prone to developing tonsil stones during space missions? The culprit? Dehydrated food. The lack of moisture and variety in their diet creates the perfect environment for tonsil stones to form. So, next time you watch a space documentary, remember, even space travel can't escape the challenges of keeping your tonsils healthy. Let's now explore how everyday habits can contribute to a healthy throat environment and potentially reduce tonsil stone formation. Chronic stress can weaken the immune system and potentially contribute to tonsillitis, which can be a risk factor for tonsil stones. Practice relaxation techniques like yoga, meditation, or deep breathing to manage stress levels. Aim for seven, eight hours of quality sleep each night. Adequate sleep helps regulate hormones and strengthens the immune system, which can indirectly benefit tonsil health. Poor posture can compress the airways and contribute to post-nasal drip, potentially leading to mucus buildup in the throat and tonsils. Practice good posture while sitting, standing, and sleeping. Additional remedies for tonsil stones. Tonsil stones, though small, can be quite a nuisance. They form when debris, such as food, dead cells, and mucus, gets trapped in the crevices of your tonsils. Over time, this debris can harden into stones, leading to discomfort, bad breath, and even infections. If you prefer a more natural approach, try incorporating anti-inflammatory herbs like ginger and turmeric into your diet. These herbs have powerful anti-inflammatory and antibacterial properties that can help reduce inflammation and prevent infections. You can add them to your meals, make a tea, or even take them in supplement form. Apple cider vinegar diluted with water can act as a natural antibacterial gargle. To make this gargle, mix one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar with a glass of warm water. Gargle with this solution for about 30 seconds, then spit it out. This can help kill bacteria and loosen any debris trapped in your tonsils. However, use it with caution as its acidity can be harsh on tooth enamel. To protect your teeth, Make sure to rinse your mouth with plain water after using the apple cider vinegar gargle. You can also use a straw to minimize contact with your teeth. Steam inhalation can also help loosen tonsil stones by moistening the throat. To do this, fill a bowl with hot water, place a towel over your head, and lean over the bowl to inhale the steam. This can help open up your airways and make it easier to expel any stones. Lastly, maintaining a healthy weight can reduce tonsil stone occurrence, as obesity is linked to increased risk. Regular exercise and a balanced diet can help you achieve and maintain a healthy weight, which in turn can help prevent the formation of tonsil stones. Remember, a healthy lifestyle is key to overall well-being and can help you avoid many health issues, including tonsil stones. Now here's a surprising fact. Tonsillectomies, the surgical removal of tonsils, were once a common solution for chronic tonsillitis. But did you know some Hollywood stars have even opted for this procedure to achieve a slimmer jawline? While this might sound extreme, it highlights the lengths people go to for aesthetics. But remember, tonsils play a crucial role in your immune system. Remember, consistency is key. These methods take time to show results, but with dedication, you can significantly reduce tonsil stones and enjoy fresh breath. Brushing twice a day, cleaning your tongue, and flossing daily are your first lines of defense. These practices remove food particles and bacteria that can contribute to tonsil stone formation. By following these natural remedies and understanding the science behind tonsil stones, you can fight back against these smelly invaders and keep your breath fresh. Remember, a healthy lifestyle goes a long way. Conquering bad breath and keeping tonsil stones at bay feels pretty darn good, right? But did you know keeping your internal systems running smoothly goes way beyond fresh breath? Your kidneys, those amazing organs tucked away in your back are the silent champions when it comes to filtering waste and keeping your body clean. In our next episode, we'll be revealing the kidney champions, those superstar vegetables that can help your kidneys function at their best. Think of it as giving your body's natural detoxification system a helping hand, just like we did with those pesky tonsil stones. If you found these tips helpful, Smash that like button and subscribe to Slim Cures for more informative and engaging videos on holistic health solutions. Until next time, keep seeking cures and keep feeling your best.